Okay, so we're ready for the um, the big climb to the top of the mountain. This is the sort of final question, but in a way, the final question kind of asks for about sort of two or three different things. So we'll just have a read and go from there. So it says use the maximum matching algorithm to obtain a complete or improved matching. State clearly your alternative path and show this improved matching. So I mean. <laughs> At the moment, that probably looks like gobbledygook to you, but um, we're going to be introducing some terminology here, which I'll hopefully explain uh, clearly. So, as you can see, the green lines, okay, they are what we term in matching, okay, and the the white lines that aren't yeah, and, and the white lines basically, so from 4 and from 1, these two, 1 and 4, are not, are, so you've got in matching and not matching basically. So, what the question wants us to do essentially is um, start from 1 and 4 and go from there. You'll see what I'm doing basically as I do it. It's one of those sort of explanations so let's just start from one okay and hopefully you'll just pick up what I'm doing so one in, as you can see you can go from one to C and you can go from one to D so we just went two different paths from there so let's go from C so we go one to C and C has a matching line from it okay and we denote that as double as a double line uh, to 3. So from 3, 3 can go to A and 3 can go to E. So again, we can do a double path thing here and E. Right, so let's go to A. So from A, we go down the green shoot to 5, and that's a double. And then from 5, we can go to D, that's single. And basically, I want you to, to, to pick maybe one or two things up each time so you can go around the video and all the information will be there. But it's just when you sort of can pick up what you need, when you need it. So hopefully, really, all you oh, I hope you get right now is that at least the apps and that's a double line is the in matching and that's the green that indicates that going from the green line and that is a single line indicating you're just going on a white line so that's what we need right now um, let me see so we're going from D uh, now here's a second point a key point to note that we stop here because there's no green line going from D so we stop at D and that's known as a breakthrough. Okay, so um, now we we go. Let's go from E. So from E, you can see again, there's no green line going from E. So that's also a breakthrough, and we stop there. Break through. That does not like it's like height, break height, it's breakthrough. So let's go uh, from D then. So we went from one to D, and as you can see, there's no green line from D, so we just stop there. And the and now we want to go from four. So four, you can go from four to C and four to A. So let's just draw it out again. So let's start at A. So A's got a green line going to 5, so it's a double line. And then from 5 we can go to D, single line. And you know clearly you, you wouldn't go backwards to A, okay, you're going from A to 5, 5 to D, and there's no green lines going from D, so you just it's a breakthrough. Blah, blah, blah. And let's go from B. So we went from four to B. Did we? Oh, no. oh it should have been four to C. Sorry. 
Okay. It's called where? Right. 4, 2, C. And then C, green line to 3. So that's a double line there. And then from 3, you can go to A and to E. A and to E. And what you'll notice is that we've already done the the rest here. It'll be exactly the same, so we can actually just copy um, from up there and from here. Actually, well, that's a breakthrough, as you can see. Break, and that's a break through. I'm being a bit lazy by not writing the through, but um, it's all rushing, I suppose. So um, that's what we've got, and it's really quite a lot to explain. Um, hopefully you can just you can see the pattern uh, that I was doing there. Um, we started one and four. We chose those numbers because they were the only two numbers that didn't have the green lines going um, from them. And these green lines, if we can remind ourselves what they even were, it was just in the question. It just said that um, initially, that was from, where was it? From this, initially applicant 2 is allocated to job B, 3 to C, 5 to um, A. So that's where the green lines have come from. And essentially, this whole thing is to um, improve the matching of jobs that they've got. Okay, so let's leave it there and continue the rest of this question in the next video.